This review has been brought to you in part by Main Irish Airsoft and G&G. Hey, welcome back to Audi's Airsoft. And this piece, we're going to be looking at this, which is one of G&G's new range. It is the GR16 CQW Rush Desert. Um, for me, this is, I would see this as maybe a follow-on to the very well-known, very popular GR15 Raider, uh, insofar as the body is the nylon fiber polymer that was uh, the Raider uh, also had. Um, the rail system is plastic. The barrel, uh, an unusually aggressive flash hider, are metal. Stock tube is metal, metal sights. Looking inside here, the gearbox feels plastic, but I can't confirm that without opening it, and I'm not going to do that because knowing me, I'll just destroy it. Um, you know, standard, g and G, uh, crane stock, feels good, a couple of the usual features on a g and G, has the pneumatic blowback, which is very nice, okay, not as effective or as, as loud, shall we say, as, as some of the other systems out there, but very effective and certainly doesn't drain energy from your gun. Uh, another really, really nice feature, which I always appreciate, is it does have the work, the, working forward assist. Uh, so you can completely release the tension on the spring once you finish playing. I think that's a, a nice little um, feature. It means that you're not going to um, degrade the spring in any way. Um, just after every game, detension the spring and the springs are going to stay good at exactly the same strength for a long time. Um, as I say it's one of the new g, &G ranges. Uh, some nice features. has a standard sort of Lewis type rear sight. The front sight is there. It pops up out of the rail system uh, and locks in place. To actually get it back down you have to slide forward a little doodah in here and then down she goes. So you could put whatever front sight you want on it but you know there is one included just so you know that. So it handles exactly the same as, as other G&Gs I've had in the past. Uh, it is in their plastic range so it is very much one of their budget guns but even so uh, some nice features like the um, the shaped trigger guard, which means it's easier to get your finger into the uh, the trigger area if you're wearing gloves. Uh, crane stock will hold pretty much any battery um, you want to get in there. You know, twin stick, uh, lipo, stock tube battery, three stick, whatever. You can fit a, a lot of various size batteries in there. Um, but of course, you want to know how to perform in the field. Well, like any G and G, it you know, is a reasonably good performer. It is in the plastic range, so we didn't expect it to match the, the very high-end guns. We did have a small issue with this gun insofar as on semi-auto, it was a bit intermittent. Um, some of the time you get a single BB, some of the times you get two. Um, now, it's not the two came out together, it was as if it was trying to go full auto. I'm not sure is that a problem with the cutoff lever or the anti-reverse latch. But there was an issue with, with Semi on this particular gun. Full auto worked perfectly okay. Um, Chrono's just under the jewel. Um, reasonable range out of it because it has a standard G&G hop up unit in it. Um, so overall, a nice gun, especially because it's G&G. Big fan of G&G, as you know. Um, apart from the minor issue with the... Uh, the semi not working properly, that was the only real problem we had on the day, it was the only real problem I had. Um, so yeah, for a budget gun, recommend it. Now, g, &G for me has been my sort of, how do I put this, kind of, you know, my yardstick that I look at other guns for, you know, they make really, really good guns at G&G &G and they come out of the box working really, really well. Fortunately, the last two G&Gs we've looked at, this one and the FN2000, uh, have had issues. Um, I'm sure they're one-offs because in general G&G &G make good gear. So, Mark said that when he started to have problems with the semi going into like a, a burst mode 
he was only getting a couple of BBs out. I used this gun after Mark and I have to tell you the problem got worse because when I went on to semi, and this is on semi now, that's semi, that's full auto. And on full auto, it's the same. But as you can see, the blowback is really cool. And um, it certainly does clack a bit when you're in the field. It looks good, it feels good, and it does give that little bit more. There's not a huge kick off it. You can, you know, you do feel it a little bit more than the standard uh, non blowback style AEG. Now, it's not as strong as, say, the APS electric blowback. It never will be because this is a pneumatic system. Uh, but the pneumatic system is far better for the gun in general because it puts less wear and tear on the gearbox. Uh, by its very design. So, as I said, um, fantastic looking gun. They've, they, you know, the, the redesign of this is, in my mind, very, very cool. For a gun that's made of plastic, uh, predominantly plastic, it feels very metal-like, and it's nice and light as well. So you're not sort of being weighed down too heavy with a heavy AEG. Some lovely little new features. The flash hider is very, very different, and I think looks very, very cool. The uh, Riz Rail has this sort of backstop here that's you know I haven't seen on any of the other AEGs, and it looks very very dinky. Um, fired brilliantly. Now, g, g used to ship with a 605 barrel as standard. It's now a 602, so it's as good as a tight bore needs to be really. Um, uh, even their very very low end sport lines are now shipping with a 602. Um, found out that this the other day in Main Irish Airsoft. Yeah, no. 603 flat. Yeah. 603. 603. I'm still reading. So it's a 603 barrel now. It used and to be a 608. And that's a G&G MP5, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the MP5 blowbacks. Sports lines. Sports lines. Bye, so, would I recommend one? Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'd have no hesitation taking this out as my main AEG. I'd have no hesitation uh, using it from the Gucci standards. You know, like, look-wise, it's fab. Um, it handles really well. The range is great. Um, everything about it is functional. The build quality is superb. Yes, we had an issue with this particular gun. Uh, with um, we believe something to do with the trigger contacts going a bit askew but you know what like every other mechanical AEG that's out there you are going to find issues sometimes they have issues straight out of the box and sometimes they manifest over a period of time hey it's life and uh, you have to suck it up if you want to play this sport but all in all I would definitely recommend this um, I know Mark liked it I certainly liked it and uh, it looks good so get over uh, to Main Irish Airsoft to check these out. He has a load in now and uh, they come in black or in this desert pattern. And uh, all in all, superb.